Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to enable Azure Disk Encryption. Okay, so basically that is called as ADE. Now as part of this video tutorial, we will discuss two approaches to do this. One is using Azure portal and another one is using PowerShell. Okay, now without making any delay, I will navigate to Azure portal to discuss the first approach. So the already logged into my Azure portal. So for that, what you need to do is just go here and search for virtual machines. And then click on the search result virtual machines. And you can able to see I have Azure Lessons VM. Okay, now click on that. And then from the left navigation, Expand this settings tab and click on the disk. The moment you will do that, you can able to see the encryption is S SSE with PMK. Right, this is the default one. We need to now encrypt it to AD, right? So after the encryption, it will show you that SSE with PMK and AD. Okay, once we will encrypt that with ADE, right? So now, now to enable the encryption, what you need to do, you just click on this additional settings, and then you can see that this is disabled. Okay, so this is disabled because Remember that make sure that your make sure that your virtual machine is uh, is running, okay? Because it is stopped now, we won't able to change that. We won't able to apply the ID, okay? So what you need to do, you need to ensure that it is running, up and running, okay? Then only you can do that. So I will go here and I will start this virtual machine first. You can able to see it is starting. Once it will start, then we will go to the same option again and we will we will uh, enable the ADE, okay? So now you can able to see it is started successfully and it is running now. And the stop is enabled, that means it is uh, running status, right? You can see the status here. Now we will do the same step. Click on the disks and then you can able to see here this is same SSE with PMK which is the default encryption. So I will go here and click on the additional settings. And now you can able to see this is enabled. Okay. So what you need to do, you need to go here encryption settings, and then you you can able to see as your disk encryption ID that is that provides volume encryption for the OS and the data disk, right? It is mentioned clearly. So that AD only we are going to enable, right? So now what now you can select any option here, like either OS, if you want to encrypt only OS disk, you can choose OS disk, or if you want both OS disk and data disk, because sometimes you will have a data disk also with your Azure VM. I don't have, but I will choose this option. You can choose this option OS disk only or OS and data disk. Okay. So when you will choose none, that means it is disabled, right? Currently it is disabled actually, it is none. Okay. Now I will choose OS and data disk. And then what you need to do now, it is quite important. You need to create a key vault or you can also use a existing key vault. So let me just create and show it to you. I'll just click on the create a key vault link and here what I'll do, I'll provide a name for my key vault. I'll say Azure Lessons key. Azure Lessons K1. I'll just keep like this the name and then what you need to do, you need to keep the options as it is and then you need to click on the next button and here is the important point you should not miss out this you should choose this azure role based uh, access control which is recommended and make sure 
you actually the last option is important to select as your disk encryption for volume encryption but i will choose these three you can also choose these three and ensure that the last option at least is checked okay better to uh, select uh, these three okay then click on the review plus create button and once it it will now validate and if all entries are correct then only you will see this create button enabled now you can able to see so you can just click on the create button which will create the key vault for you okay now you can able to see the deployment is uh, succeeded and uh, this Azure Lessons K1 uh, key vault to the resource group is uh, created successfully. Okay, now close this and you can able to see this is now selected by default after the creation. And now then the next option is select the key. I will just create a new one. Just I uh, will say AZL A key. Okay. And then you choose the, I mean, keep the default option as it is, same RSA. And I will just say key size is the maximum length. And then just click on the create button. To create the key. Now it will take just a second to create the key. And you can able to see it is submitting the deployment. Now you can able to see the deployment is succeeded and uh, the key got also created, right? So now the version, it will automatically create the current version. You keep it as it is and then click on the save button. Now you can able to see the deployment is in progress. Uh, it will just take few seconds to complete the deployment. We will just wait for that. Now you can able to see the deployment is succeeded and uh, you can click on the go to resource to go to the disk encryption that we have created. But now what you'll do, we'll go to the home tab I'll click on the virtual machines and I will click on the Azure Lessons VM, then click on the disks. You can able to see now. The encryption is SSE with PMK and ADE. Okay. So if you are not able to see the reflection immediately, just click on the refresh button here and it will show you that ADE has been added. Okay. The encryption has been done successfully along with the default one, right? So this is how you can use Azure portal to enable the ADE. Okay. And same time, you can also use PowerShell command also to do this. That approach also we are going to see it. Okay, before that, what I'll do, I'll go to PowerShell IAC and I will run this command to disable this encryption that we have made just now. Then we will use this script to enable it. Okay, this script I will I will tell you how we can do that. Okay. Uh, let me run this to disable it first. You need to click on the yes button. Now you can able to see uh, it is executed successfully. That means this by this time it might be disabled already. We will just go and check there in the Azure portal. Let me just refresh it. You can able to see now the ID is gone. That means it is again the default encryption now, right? So what we'll do, I will again run the PowerShell script and we will see whether it is working or not, right? So I, I'll go to the PowerShell script. You can able to see or let me explain you first. So here is the uh, variable for uh, resource group name. So this is my resource group name that my VM belongs to then my virtual machine name. This is my virtual machine name and this is the key vault name that I have created already. This is another key vault. You can use the same one also, but let me 
where is the new one also you can have, you remember that we have created this keyboard i will just use this one and then then this is the keyboard we are using this get as a keyboard uh, along with the vault name and resource group name and then we can write so if we'll now this is uh, the uri we are uh, trying to you know keep it there that is the keyboard dot vault uri okay we are storing it in this variable my key vault uri right now this is uh, my key vault resource id which is nothing but this again this key vault and uh, dot resource id so um, now we are using set hyphen az vmd encryption extension okay to add the ad extension right so along with the resource group name again the same rg name whatever we have mentioned here vm name and this disk encryption key vault url this is the url right so these are the things we need to you know enable the ad for your azure vm Okay, so if you want this script, you can get it. Actually, I have also written an article on this topic. I will put it. I will. I will put the article link on my video description. You can just check out that article to get this script. Okay, then you can uh, you know modify your uh, business group name, your VM name, and uh, keyboard name accordingly. Okay. So let me just execute this. So you can able to see it started executing and we need to click on the S for the confirmation. The moment we will confirm it, it will take just few seconds to enable the Azure disk encryption for your Azure virtual machine, right? So let's wait for that. Now you can able to see uh, the script has been executed successfully and we got the status code as true and uh, we got the each success status code as true and status code as okay that means it executed successfully now to cross check what we will do we will go to the portal and uh, till now you can able to see it is encryption is sac with pmk i will just refresh it once the moment i will do that you can able to see it is SSE with PMK and AD. Okay, that means it is done successfully. Okay, we are able to enable the AD for our Azure Virtual Machine with Azure Portal and PowerShell ISC, right? So that's it for today. I thought to show you quickly how to enable Azure Data. So that's it for today. I thought to show you quickly how to enable Azure Disk Encryption for our Azure VM, right? So we have discussed here two approaches using Azure Portal and using Azure PowerShell command as well, okay? So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free Azure tips, different helpful Azure PowerShell commands as well as Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.